chocolate. So if that sounds of interest to you, please stick around. Today's pairings with the theme of chocolate. So chocolate is the most dominant note in the fragrances that we are talking about today. I have collected a series of them. The first one we're gonna go over is Acro Dark. Acro we know is a more modern fragrance line. Uh, each of their fragrances was supposed to be more of a play on vices, like vices that we all have, like cigarettes or chocolate or coffee or um, sex or, the latest one was Bake, which is focused on like a lemon custard type cake, which I hear is splendid. I need to try that one still. But regardless, Acro Dark is aimed at chocolate. Dark being chocolate. Dark is considered a uh, spicy amber vanilla type fragrance. It was launched in 2018. The creator behind it, Olivier Cress, major notes of the fragrance include dark chocolate, cacao, hazelnut, vanilla, cinnamon. Uh, all in all, sounds like a fragrance I would absolutely adore. Longevity is moderate to long lasting. Siage is also a moderate width. My personal uh, experience with dark, I think it starts out very woody, kind of like an old library scent, you know, the scent of the, the kind of, I don't want to say musky pages of books, but you know what I'm saying, like the old wood library. You smell the shelves, you smell, you know, the decor. It, it just had that, that aura to me. And then, and then it does turn more into a dark chocolate scent, but like in the library. So it stays... You keep that woody essence, but the chocolate just becomes more prominent, blended with that woody note. All in all, a very interesting fragrance, definitely a very well-made and creative fragrance, but not necessarily one that I personally would purchase or wear. Again, nothing wrong with it, a very lovely fragrance. Next, Nasomato Pardon, another very, very popular fragrance. Pardon was launched in 2011. The artist behind Pardon by Nasomato was Alessandro Goltari. Top notes include magnolia and flowers, middle notes dark chocolate, tonka bean and cinnamon, base notes wood of agar wood or oud and sandalwood. Again, this is, most of these fragrances, if not all of them, are unisex fragrances. Uh, the first one that we talked about, dark, I think could be either way, maybe a bit more masculine because of those woods, but I think it could easily be worn by a male or a female. This one, I think, leans way more on the masculine side. Um, again, Nasomato is a very luxurious, high-quality perfume. Longevity would be long-lasting to eternal, as well as Siage being moderate to strong. My experience with Pardon, I think it was a very woodsy fragrance. It, you could definitely smell the green notes in it. I got a hint of mint in it, but I think maybe that was the magnolia. I think it's more of the magnolia plant as opposed to the flower, like when you're smelling the actual oil. Um, I have a lot of essential oils and the magnolia one I thought I would love because I thought it would be like the, you know, flowery magnolia perfume type scent, but it's, it's much more green smelling. And I think that's the scent that I get in Pardon. The way that it's mixed, to be completely honest, it reminds me a little bit of like when you're painting your nails, that, um, that scent that you get. And it's not necessarily a turnoff, it's just that's the reminder of the scent that I got, but that's on me. Um, I have a friend who loves Pardon and goes on and on about it. I know Marcelo another person that goes on and on about how wonderful Pardon is. So I am sure that it smells delightful on different people. Me personally, I smelled like a woodsy green mint type scent. So not necessarily one that I particularly loved. I also didn't really smell chocolate in it. So that was a bit of a disappointment. Again, all I have is the tester of it, the little sample, like a one mil, one mil little tester vial. And I've heard from multiple people too, sometimes you get a bad vial or the, you know, the vials, it's not the true essence of the fragrance. So that could also be a possibility. Those are my thoughts on Pardon. Moving on. For the next fragrance, we're getting into Viva More, which is um, kind of a newer branch off of Navitas fragrances. And this is Creme Equis. 
Femme A Key is a relatively newer fragrance. It was launched in 2022. The nose behind the fragrance is Bertrand Duchapour. It's considered a woody, spicy fragrance for both women and men. Top notes include iris, black cherry, Brazilian orange, middle notes chocolate, caramel, and orchid. Base notes Tahitian, vanilla, Ceylon, cinnamon, coffee, honey, and oak. All purely delightful notes there. Very gourmand sounding. Uh, Viva More fragrances, at least the ones I have experienced thus far, all have a very moderate to eternal longevity as well as a moderate to strong sillage. It is a very middle of the road unisex fragrance. It does not pull one way masculine or feminine. It's a true unisex fragrance. It is perfect for fall. I also chose to do the chocolate themed pairings video now because we're in the beginning of September, which is the perfect fall uh, beginning of the season time where you can start to don your uh, more autumnal fragrances and anything with the chocolate note I think would be absolutely perfect for fall moving into winter fragrances. Creme Key I thought was a very fresh floral but yet creamy fragrance. It was very, it's hard to explain how you can get creamy floral but um, just a very, and I don't want to say lactonic, it wasn't lactonic. A caramely coffee chocolate mixed with floral fragrance. It then turned more into a leather dominant fragrance for me. I didn't get a whole lot of chocolate. It just, it started like a fresh uh, creamy floral and then it uh, matured more into a creamy floral leather. I did find it very fascinating of a fragrance. Also the, um, the journey that the fragrance took me on was unique and I appreciated the fragrance. Um, I would maybe wear this fragrance. It probably isn't one that I'm naturally drawn to, but I definitely appreciated the originality of the concoction. The next one on our list is by Navitus. It was another collaboration with another influencer, Gabriella from Gabby Loves Perfumes. The name of this one, Chocolate Queen. When I heard of this fragrance, it what I heard was that it was a chocolate orange type fragrance and I got so excited because, I mean, I love chocolate covered oranges. Chocolate Queen by Navitus is considered an amber vanilla fragrance for both women and men. It's a rather relatively new fragrance launched in 2022. The nose behind the fragrance is again, Bertrand Duchefort. Top notes of the fragrance include dark chocolate, hazelnut, and dulce de leche. Middle notes, chocolate fudge. Bailey's Irish cream, caramel and bitter almond. Base notes, praline, vanilla absolute, sandalwood, and amberwood. I mean, all in all, it sounds like a cocktail that I would really enjoy. Definition of a gourmand fragrance. Very rich and sensual and decadent. I enjoyed the duration of this fragrance. Uh, it was a little sweet. I think it leaned a bit more on the feminine side, but I think it easily could be worn by either men or women. Very gourmand sweet, keep that in mind. It, to me, it started off very citrus chocolate and, you know, as all citrus does, it tends to uh, dry off fairly quickly and you're left with more of a coconut breeze mixed with the chocolate. So basically you started with a chocolate covered orange and you were left with a dark chocolate coconut truffle. Decadent, sensual, delightful, very enjoyable of a fragrance with moderate to long lasting longevity and a moderate to strong sillage. Definitely an autumn into winter fragrance. I would not attempt this for the spring or summer months. I think it's just going to be too bold. It's a little bit too heavy sweet for those more warmer months. Again, that was Chocolate Queen by Navitas Fragrances. And rounding out our collection of chocolate dominant fragrances, Mancera, Roses, and Chocolate. Roses and Chocolate by Mancera is considered a floral and fruity gourmand fragrance. Shocker, I'm sure. Again, it's unisex for both women and men. Launched in 2013, so one of the older fragrances in this lot. Nose behind the fragrance was Pierre Montal. Top notes of the fragrance include peach, blackcurrant, mandarin orange, bergamot, middle notes dark chocolate, rose and violet, base notes vanilla, white musk, and cedar. Longevity of man this particular Mancera fragrances, as well as most of the Mancera fragrances I have experienced, is moderate to long lasting. The sillage definitely moderate to strong in this fragrance as well. Let's start off more on the chocolatey side, but then the rose does come through. It's true to form. It's a chocolate rose type scent. 
because to me it it's like the perfect chocolate covered rose type scent if i took a fresh red rose and poured chocolate okay if i melted chocolate chips hershey's chocolate chips or nestle chocolate chips. if i melted nestle chocolate chips and i poured them all over a fresh cut red rose I think it easily could be worn by both women or men. However, men would have to be comfortable with that floral rose note, obviously. It's heavy and dark, also fairly sensual and enticing with that chocolate note. I think it's a warm, seductive, kind of enveloping type fragrance. It is a bold fragrance. It is a bit strong. I would have to wear it lightly if I were to wear this fragrance. Mancera Montal fragrances, I kind of have to do the spray walk through mist type thing because it's just a bit strong for my personal taste. If you're looking for more of a rose scent but kind of uh, cut, not so floral, more um, powdered down with more of a cocoa-esque feel, this is definitely one that you'd want to check out. So again, this was Mancera, I almost called it Montal, Mancera Roses and Chocolate. A number of these fragrances can be found at So Avant Garde. If you're interested in just trying a sample of the fragrances, I definitely encourage you to check out So Avant Garde. I think it's awesome that you can try a tester before committing to a full-size bottle as that full-size bottles of many of these fragrances and many of the fragrances I speak of are higher price point fragrances. So I have a code for CAT20, which will give you 20% off of any purchase that you make. So make sure to use my code. Uh, to, so you can benefit from that deal. This uh, rounds out our chocolate episode of the Pairings series. Please comment below if you have other fragrances that I should have included in um, a particular series, whether that be the rum one or now the chocolate. I would love to hear from you. I was thinking this morning, I spent quite some time emailing back and forth with one of my viewers this morning and then later this afternoon was texting with another and was just thinking how much I appreciate the relationships that I have formed by having this channel. I mean, it started out as an outlet for me to be able to talk about fragrance and skincare and beauty products during COVID when I was secluded in my house with my then two-year-old. So um, it's always fun to make these videos. And I mean, having this channel has really made a positive impact on my life. And that is because of you guys. So I appreciate you all. I appreciate the conversations that we have. I hope you know really truly from my heart, that is how I feel. This isn't just the, you know, the Catherine Cole show. This is me trying to share information and get to have these conversations with other people who enjoy fragrance and beauty and products the way that I do. And it is so fun for me to find you guys in the world and get to build those relationships. I'll end it there instead of with a quote today and just know, just know how sincere I am with those words. I love you all. I appreciate you all. And I will see you soon before I start crying. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, I just heard a bing. I just moved all of my, uh... <laughs> I moved all of my, I have a collection of snow globes. I just moved them all to the top shelf and some of them are musical ones and one of them just bing. A little disconcerting, a little. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs>